I'm Keith Peters with the Palo Alto Weekly. With me is Sarah Robinson, a sophomore on the gun cross-country team. Last week, Sarah competed at the Central Coast Section Division I Championships. She won the girls' Division I race in a time of 17-12. That was the second fastest time of the day. It was her personal best. It was the second fastest sophomore time ever run at Crystal Springs, the fastest since uh, in 32 years, and it tied her for the 11th fastest time overall on the course, which has been in existence for 40 years. More importantly, Sarah's time helped Gunn finish second in the team race and help the Titans qualify for the state meet. And for that performance, she is the Palo Alto Weekly Girls Athlete of the Week. Obviously, a lot happened last week for you and your team. Um, sensational time. Was the time more important for you, or was it helping your team get to state? Um, I think it, the fact that I wanted the team to go to state helped me run a fast time. And so I think, I don't know, they kind of build on each other, I guess. Yeah. Your coach, uh, Matt Tompkins, says he really doesn't know how fast you can run yet um, just because you really haven't been challenged a whole lot and, and your times really have come down uh, from last year. Um, do you have any idea how fast you can run? Um, not really because, I mean, on C in CCS I won by sort of a large amount of time. So, I mean, I'm not sure how much I can be pushed. So, yeah. <laughs> You, uh, in addition to running cross country during the, this time of year, you also um, play club soccer. And about three weeks ago, you were with the uh, U.S. Soccer Under-17 National Team at uh, National Training Camp down in Southern California. Uh, how does the soccer and the cross country work together? Does the soccer really help you play uh, the uh, cross country really soccer it really helped you play cross country uh, uh, during the season? Um, yeah, because I think I get extra fitness training in when I go from cross country practice to soccer practice. So even after really hard days at cross country, I'll have, still have soccer practice to go to. So I think soccer helps me in cross country. Did also being with that national team, did that really help your confidence uh, for cross country at all? Um, I think so because I was playing at such a high level. I think it helped me become, again, more fit and stuff. And I was constantly doing things every day, and we were doing fitness training there. So I think that helps. You were used to be really primarily a soccer player, but your sister Erin, who graduated from Gunn last year, had something to do with getting you out for the cross country team, didn't she? Yeah. Uh, so. In my, the summer before my freshman year, I kind of was leaning towards not doing cross country. But then she brought me to a practice before school started, and I guess she just sort of kind of persuaded me to join the team. So your sister has uh, yet to give her credit for all the success you've had? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Good luck the rest of the way. You're going to be uh, qualifying. You've qualified for state. The team was qualified for state. Uh, what do you see? What would you uh, like uh, to happen at the state meet for you and your team? Um, I think I would just like to run a really solid time and see where that puts me. Um, and I hope the team does really well. Everybody runs great solid races and hopefully good things will just happen from there. Good luck the rest of the way. Congratulations. Thank you.